I hope you don't take this the wrong way, but you play crazy really, really well. Yeah. <laughs> you were excellent at that. I think I'm going to have to start taking that as a compliment. I'm going to take it as a compliment. <laughs> Go off of that. I mean, it's it's crazy, but it's still we can still follow. It. I think that's what makes it such a great thing to watch because we see a logic to what you're saying and what you're doing. Well, that's actually really comforting to me because I feel like I never approach Jennifer as in my mind crazy, and I think that's why people keep saying I'm crazy because I don't really see her as crazy. I have to see her logic. Um, and I also believe that crazy people, it's really kind of subjective what crazy is. Um, early on when I started, when I was just like, we were prepping to play this part, I spoke to the psychologist because they wanted to know, like, what would you diagnose Jennifer Goins as? Would she have schizophrenia or what? And so I was talking to this guy and he said something that I had felt, but I didn't have like the... Um, I don't know, I wasn't like a scientific schooled enough to be confident in that that was the truth, but, which was um, that a lot of people with mental illness sometimes um, they don't have the inhibitions that we have in society um, and they're more like children a lot of the time who will just say the truth about things and go right to the heart of something. And I felt that with Jennifer that a lot of the time I felt like her crazy was her telling the truth about stuff. Um, so I think there's that in that if you say I play crazy good, which is a great compliment now, um, is that it's, I don't think, I, I'm not trying to play crazy, so if it, that if there's um, a grounding in it to me that you can see some logic um, that's what I'm going for at least. It seems like the, the knowledge that you have of what's really happening is, is kind of agitating your condition. Yeah. And there's logic, there's method to the madness. Right? When it, And I think that way too, this year I've, I've discovered at least something new for me was when I was prepping to come back for season two, I was like thinking a lot about Jennifer because I'm going to be doing it a lot more and I'm like, I was getting really frustrated that I, I was like having so many conflicting opinions and ideas in my head about this part and about my feelings for Cole and my feelings for Lynn, really, and then I realized, I'm like, that's what it is in her head all the time, this perpetual duality of like, I I love Cole, but Cole's the enemy and I have to kill him, and I, love, and I hate the monkeys, but then the monkeys are are saving me and like this constant thought I think would tear someone's mind apart so it's exciting to play though it's fun <laughs>